This is Raw in Three Minutes. I'm John Pollock, and this is the birthday man, Wei Ting, and we're going to do Raw in three minutes. All systems go. Raw took place from Pittsburgh on Monday night. It kicked off with Big E and Xavier Woods retaining the tag titles over Rusev and Del Rio. Big post-match attack by the League of Nations, and that's clearly the direction we're going with the League of Nations attacking or challenging New Day for the WrestleMania match. I think the New Day are doing very well as babyfaces, basically doing the Eddie Guerrero gimmick where they're cheating to win, and the fans loving them as a result. Uh, Dean Ambrose came out for a promo. They had a, a face-off with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman, but very little Brock Brock Lesnar on this show and Dean Ambrose his big uh, segment of the night was getting involved with Mick Foley and Foley passing to him the barbed wire baseball bat to use against Brock Lesnar and getting Foley's endorsement. I thought that played off very well and I think uh, that barbed wire bat will make a, a, a very memorable segment at Wrestlemania. Ryback murdered Sin Cara and then challenged Kalisto to Wrestlemania. The second hour featured Stephanie McMahon coming out to bring out Triple H who cut a scathing promo on all the low lowlifes and the losers out there in the world, comparing them to Dean Ambrose and then Dolph Ziggler, who responded on behalf of the fans. And it led to a match being set up with Triple H and Dolph Ziggler with the stipulation if Ziggler won, he would get any match he wants at WrestleMania with the exception of the WWE title match. To me, this segment was a highlight for all. I thought uh, Hunter and Ziggler did tremendously on the mic here. We had uh, Sami Zayn defeat The Miz after Kevin Owens distracted The Miz with the Huluva kick finish. Brie Bell and Alicia Fox, they lost to Tamina and Naomi. No big deal there. Then we had The Usos against Bo Dallas and Ambro- uh, and Adam Rose, rather, with The Usos getting the win clean. Triple H taking on Dolph Ziggler. They got a lot of time here, over 17 minutes. A good showing by Dolph Ziggler. Very strong match, I thought. Triple H wins after blocking the zigzag and winning with the pedigree, but giving quite a lot of near falls here to Dolph Ziggler, and I thought this was a really good match. A very similar match to uh, Triple H's uh, match with D- Dean Ambrose at Roadblock, um, and I think, uh, you know, another very good match in two days from Triple H. Then afterwards, Roman Reigns finally returned. Big physical angle, attacking Triple H. No talking by Roman Reigns and keeping him quiet and just all physicality. The guy got booed still. And, um, you know, I don't necessarily think that'll change after this week. Jacqueline's going into the Hall of Fame. Chris Jericho and Neville had a very awkward finish because Neville legitimately injured his ankle. Uh, It was a legitimate injury, and they had to end this one very awkwardly with a DQ finish, and then afterwards, Styles came out and attacked Chris Jericho with the phenomenal forearm. That takes us to the closing segment involving Vince, Shane, and The Undertaker. Shane McMahon is a weapon. He has trained his body to kill The Undertaker, and he barely did with punches and got laid out with a choke slam. His punches looked awful. Uh, it kind of killed The Undertaker's credibility, but... Yeah, but other than that, that was for on three minutes. 